Hello everyone once again and welcome back to PAX and Recreation and today we are still doing this so let's see what's up for boosters for a premium price for cards for a casual format that you can't really compete in official sanctioned events so how do you call this well there is a magic card for that it's called greed now let's see what the future I mean, well, if I can open this, otherwise I will need a knife. Maybe I just to just start doing like like the relaxing end YouTube channel and just have like different knives. Ah, oh, there you go. I just I don't know, just throw them into the floor and there you go. Nice. Now four boosters, which will be the bachelorette that we pick likely not one but let's see first booster can we ninja them nope they actually like went extra glue with them nice nice doing wizards look at that it's like a spider-man lead there okay now vial of dragon fire opal palace oh nice ministrat Ministrant of Obligation, Tuskard Captain, Burnish Heart, Sahid Dijin of the Lamb. Not bad. Actually, blue was here. Mountain, Nadir, Nadir's Night Blade, Faithless Looting. Both cards that I don't really care too much about. Kodama's Rich, Freilis, Yanowar's Fury. From Commander Dex 2014, the infamous year when Wizards was like, well, everyone likes Planeswalkers, so let's just put Planeswalkers as Commanders. Like, but Mr. Wizards, we can't. The rules for EDH, sorry, Commander as we call it, state that it needs to be a legendary creature. It's like, oh, that's okay. We just put a line of text there that says it can be your Commander. A problem solved! I am wizards, I can just print stuff. See? Another one from the same age, Teferi, Temporal Archmage. They were monocolor um, planeswalkers. This one is an edge for at least. And it is kind of okay, but the problem with running planeswalkers in Commander is that. Oh, get Watch Beacon. Nice. Is that, you know, you're fighting against three other people. It's okay if they take points from you because you have 40 and stuff like that, but your commander is just sitting, your placewalker is just sitting there. And if your placewalker is your commander, well, guess what, right? So that's why the commander deck for placewalkers was the one that I was the most excited about uh, because it can get creative. But it fell behind because whatever. Like they, they had the opportunity to make it cool and great for, you know, running placewalkers in commander, but I guess. They didn't want to put the cars in there or something. I don't know. Extra planner lens. Not bad. Imprint. It makes a target land you control. Whenever a land with the same name as this, as the exile cards is tapped for mana, it controls that's one mana of any type that land produced. Well, okay, not bad. Yeah, draws this pawn. Fire action boost. Second booster. Crimson Fleet Commodore, generous gift, but with a nice elephant with horns. Luther Ilkor, Fire Action Gargantua, Raka Mar, hmm. Captain Ripley Vance. Whenever you cast your third spell each turn, put a plus one plus one counter on Captain Ripley Vance, then it deals damage equal to its power to any target, which is, well, not that bad actually. A Swamp. Fact or fiction, which we get, not once, but twice. Don't you love it when this happens? <laughs> it can be another dragon twice, but no, it has to be like an uncle. So, fact or fiction says, that we might as well just read it because we have it twice, right? So, we have to fill the runtime. Reveal the top five cards of your library, an opponent separates those cards into two piles, put one pile in your hand and the other into your graveyard. Commander's Fear, never leave, never leave home without it. 
fact or fiction, but this time it's foil. ACDC. Bam, 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 bam. Now in foil. One of my best friends, um, Ross Days is a commander. I have Vietnam flashbacks every time I say this. Silvala, Heart of the Wilds in edge foil. Not bad. One and two green. Legendary creature, Elf Scout for 2 3. It's a 2 3 that says whenever another creature enters the battlefield, its controller may draw a card. If its power is greater than each other creature's power. For one green and tap, add X mana in combination of colors. In any combination of colors where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. So, survival of the future. Rules of nature. Okay, see skittering, skittering cicada from the commander decks as well. Ooh, there you go. Now the box just paid for, it, for itself. No, actually it didn't, but a girl can only dream, right? Juliet Lotus in the special art. Can you imagine that I just like, with a nerve, with being so nervous, I just like crash it. Tooth and Nail. Timon and Pumba. For five and two green, you can choose one. Search a library for up to two creature cards, reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle, or put up to two creature cards from your hand onto the battlefield. And you have Entwine to choose both if you pay the Entwine cost. Finally, this is the last card, another Geo Lotus, but whatever. Topter, Dragon. Third booster. So, well, we got two Factor Fictions in the same booster, but then we got a Geo Lotus, so. I guess there's that. Goliath the Sphinx, Abundant Harvest, A Braid, Supernatural Stamina, Intangible Virtue, Reality Shift, and an Island. And the Island, <laughs> Generous Gift, of course. So, Generous Gift, Slime Food, the Stowaway, not bad. Ooh, Dark Steel Mutation, which is a very pain in the ass thing to do to a commander in particular and the art is just great look at this thing it's amazing you can already know which art i'm going to pick for white kindred dominance which is a creature type destroy all creatures that are of the chosen type sublime exhalation in edge foil my friends six and one white this spell costs one less to cast for each opponent so in command normal commander is just like Three and one blight. And one white. Which is you know, not bad. Show your creatures. And if you play with more people in Commander, well that's the thing. Regal Sliver. This is from the Commander deck. And in foil. Not bad. Silvers you uh, silvers you control have. When this creature enters the battlefield, silvers you control get plus one plus one to end of turn if you are the monarch. Otherwise, you become the monarch. Champion's helm. Equipment. You get two two. And as long as you're equipped. As long as the creature is a, oh, sorry, as long as the equipped creature is legendary, it has hexproof. Okay, not bad, not great. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a bummer of a. Uh, like, will you really say that there there are so few cards in the in a reprint set that it, it makes sense that I get twice one card in one and twice another card in another? Can I get twice the Agile Lotus maybe just to balance it out? I guess Eldrazi and Cat. And now for the last booster. No, I'm not complaining. I know that, you know, getting the Yellow Lotus was kind of a good pull, so I'm not like being bitchy about it. Um, but I need to make jokes. You're here for entertainment, right? So let's see. Dwarven Hammer, Sunblade Angel, or Angel, Kamantawa, which is a land, Unbounded Potential. Fact or fiction? Teshar, ancestors, ap ap apostle. Apostle? Yeah, apostles. Yeah, right. That's how you say it. Mountain? And now, and now. Command Tower? Felwer Stone. So we, we're getting the basics, boys. Slime Foot again. But this time it's in foil. And. Is in the background of fact of fiction. <laughs> Can you see? Nice. No. Days on doing. Very nice card. Aminatos Ogre. I got an Aminatos as a part of uh, the list. 
I don't know if she is in the the actual set, which is weird because you have the augury, but whatever. Edge foil and six and two blue. Excited top eight cards of your library. You may put a land card from among them onto the battlefield until the end of turn. For each non-land card type, you may cast a spell of that type from among the exiled cards without paying its mana cost. Ooh, Nyxborn Behemoth for ten and two green. Is a 10 10 enchantment creature beast that says this spell costs X less to cast, where X is the total mana value of non creature enchantments you control. Trample. And this is from the commander decks, if I recall correctly. So, really? The same card twice again? <laughs> what the fuck? Taza, Taza Karlov. And uh, Satyr and Bird. How it, like, what? Like, of all the possibilities, like you see, this is what happens with the multipliers. Like because this is a spot for a rare card, this is a spot for a foil rare card or mythic or whatever. So you can get duplicates, and in fact, we did get a lot of them in four boosters. We got like five cards repeated. So I'm not mad though, but i think it's a conspiracy so now let's pick the best looking card from each color starting with white you know which one is gonna be because i said so there you go dark Steel mutation doesn't even look like a white card it's amazing now for blue barabina ni blue barabina fact or fiction because i mean first we got it twice second it's actually good looking so which actually you got it twice if you consider the normal art so now for black, only four cards in black, it's kind of weird. Uh, technically this is the best looking one, but I like Kindred Dominance, so it's gonna be that. Now for, now for red... Mm, nothing too fancy here. I guess I'm going with Captain Ripley Vance, just because... Very dynamic art there. Now for green... Tooth and Nail is nice looking, actually, but Nyxborn Behemoth... Ah, I'm going with Nyxborn Behemoth. Even more because it's a Nyx card, and, you know, we like Theros in this channel. Now here, as you can see, we have a very wide selection of multicolor cards. Two of them are profile picture cards, and the rest is basically CDC. So I guess I'm going with Slime Food, the stowaway in foil. And so, I guess that's that. Now on land, well, I like the Vault of Champions. Well, we went with that one. Kind of simple, but you know, looks nice. And for colorless, I think you can guess which one it's going to be because it's nice looking. It's not because of the value. Wait, actually, I think I prefer this one. So there is that, and that's the pick. Now, let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about these pools? Do you think, it, was it, I mean, was it lucky? Yes, it was, we had some great cards in there, but was it unlucky because we had a bunch of repeats? Yes, it was as well. But hey, let me know what you think. I hope you had a great time. This has been PAX and Recreation. See you next time, bye.